Welcome to the first Demarcation Media Brick Stuff review. Now, most of you are probably wondering what the heck I'm talking about, so let me give a little bit of a preface to this box right here before I actually open it and we take a look at the contents. So, Simon over on the domain has a handful of really cool videos uh, talking about this. I think he's got more in the works. This It was from his channel that I heard about this, but in short, um, there's a company called Brick Stuff, and they make lighting kits for Lego sets. And they are wanting to branch out into making lighting kits for Mega Constructs. So Simon has actually gone to their like headquarters and talked to the owner and all that. So I highly recommend you go watch that video. I will put the link in the description below. Go check that out. It'll give you a whole bunch of uh, more backstory and explanation. But I've been looking at doing some lighting kit stuff for a while because uh, especially with photography when you have big lights for small figures it tends to be a little bit iffy and like trying to fit the lights into the small areas it's a bit of a pain so I decided to go ahead and grab the starter kit from Brick Stuff and see what I can do with it so this is the first time I've gotten a lighting kit and I just wanted to go through, kind of show the whole process, see how this is packed up. And there are a handful of different companies that do lighting kits for Lego. But so far, Brick Stuff is the only one that I've heard of that wants to kind of branch out towards Mega Constructs. So the more support they get, the more Mega Constructs sets they can make kits for. Go ahead and get all the tape cut. They have stuff too, like little tiny screens that you can have for your um, your sets, which is kind of insane. You can have like two hours of video on one of these little screens. I didn't get one of those, but I wanted to give them a try at some point. But like I said, this is the first time I've done anything with a lighting kit like this, so I didn't want to go too crazy right off the bat. Uh, what am I missing here? I thought I got all the tape. Oh, I did. Okay, so let's see how this is all packed. Alrighty, so we have, <laughs> look at that. Candy comes in the brick stuff thing and they've got their own branding. That's actually really cool. I like that. Okay, and then in here is the lighting effect starter kit. So you can kind of see a general idea of what you can do here. We've got lights on the ceiling lit up, fireplace lit up, which is exactly what I am looking for here. Let me make sure. Okay, cool. That's my like, packing slip. So let's get rid of all the extra stuff and just look at this. So this comes with six LED light boards and it has the cables, adapters, 12 effect lighting controller, and a battery pack. So, let's see, how do I open this? Mm, huh. Maybe right here? Oh, I see now. Yeah. There we go. Pop this open. Okay, here's our battery pack. Looks like we're probably gonna need to get some batteries here. What does it take? Takes just some normal double A's. Oh, there's our screw. Okay, the screw comes inside the battery pack. We don't want to lose that. We'll go ahead and put that in its little hole. Okay, and then in here is all the rest of the good stuff. Oh, look, they've got their, like, Brick Stuff logo on the bottom of these little control boards. So, it looks like here's some LEDs. Really, really small on the wires. And then here's all the connector cords, uh, little sticky pads. Oh, I guess that's to stick it to various places inside the 
inside the set. So let's see, what do we got for instructions? Lighting and automation system. Controller on off selector switch, lighting effect mode selector. Okay, so this is this is the controller right here. So everything I guess needs to plug into this first. So this one down here is the power in, and then we have two uh, outputs here. And then these holes here are stud holes that fit Lego studs. Oh, and there's 12 pre-programmed lighting effects on and off with dimming, flickering fire, pulse, glimmer, jet engines, airport runway style pulsing, flash, single strobe, double strobe, blinky lights, laser cannon, cannon with explosion. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab some batteries and get these things hooked up and let's see what we can do here we go I've got some batteries go ahead put these in I'm curious as to how long these batteries will last go ahead pop the cover on come on now what am I doing wrong Huh? What am I doing wrong? I'm going to take the screw out for now, actually. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Why is this not working? Oh, I just wasn't pressing hard enough. Uh, I don't know if I have a screwdriver small enough. Well, I'm going to lose this if I keep messing with it. I'm going to put it in the box. Okay, so this is hooked up. And now what we need to do is plug it in to here this way yeah, yeah yeah okay so that's hooked up so which means our controller now has power so we've got these what are these what are all these cords for Connecting cables. So these are our actual lights, I think. So let me go ahead and unwrap these. This is a bit of a learning process here, but I wanted to show all of this so that if you guys decide to get some of these, you'll kind of know what to expect. Okay, so we've got all of the lights here. Let me just select one strand. Now I think what I will do is, okay, so no, it doesn't directly go in there. So these, wait, I'm confused. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, okay, so these actually plug into these specific boards. Okay, I'm trying to look at this around the, the camera here. Okay, so the lights plug into here, which means these black ones here are for plugging into this setup, I think. Like this. Which makes sense because we don't want our actual controller to be directly up against the model. And then this one would plug into here. Whoops like that. So now we have a long strand here. Let me organize the parts a bit. So we've got this and then we have a light hooked up here. So let's see. Do I need to press this button? Uh, did I do something wrong? Oh, ha. <gasps> hey, look at that. We got one. So now what if happens if I turn this? Okay, that turns it off directly from the controller, but the battery pack is still on. 
So we do that. Come on, the cord wants to flip this controller around. So we have this, this is the default mode. If we push it again, okay. That's like the flickering fire effect, I guess. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Wow, it's really flashing. It, it's not showing up on camera real great, but it's flashing really fast. Flashing a little bit different. More pulsing. That's like a, almost a warning light blink. Oh, wow. That's a double pulse, I guess. Okay. Oh, that's like the guns effect, I think. Okay. Are we, oh, we're not back to the beginning yet. Okay, so now we're back to the beginning. We're just default on. So that one's on. Let me go ahead and plug in another one. These wires are very small, very fine. So you got to be careful not to tangle them because I think it would be fairly easy to tangle them if you're not careful. Let me go ahead and connect it. Okay, so we have two lights connected now and I'm actually going to cut the lights overhead The light from the window is kind of coming in, but now you can kind of see how bright this is. Now, my first thought when seeing this was, look at this. What if you mount, you know, put the light here and then kind of like stick it underneath, or you could potentially stick it to the back of the figure too, like kind of like a hologram table. Um, now on camera, there's a lot of bloom to the light, so it looks like it's just a big orange kind of splat of light, but in person, it kind of diffuses a little bit more. But yeah, this is really bright. This is actually perfect because for photography, I'm going to want some really good bright lights. So two or three of these should be enough for me to light a scene pretty darn well. Now I have a couple, uh, I've got like some Lego builds and some Mega Constructs builds that I wanted to try and fit these lights on just real quick to see what we can do. So one of my first thoughts was, can we make this Wasp's engines light up? That's that's what I want to know. Excuse all the dust. It's been sitting here for a bit. So pop this off. Can we figure out how to fit this inside? So this could fit like this potentially, but is there enough space to reattach it that's what I want to know um not quite not like that so what if we were to remove come on I said remove hmm what come on get off there we go that's what I was looking for could we fit it up in here like this and then reattach, position the wire like that. No, no, come back. Okay. So there's light in there. Right now it doesn't look very bright, but I want to do the same thing to the other side. Getting it directly beneath the yellow would be ideal, but this might work as well. So let me make sure this is pointed upward. Oh, maybe I maybe I angled the other light wrong. Now there are the the cords to deal with. Um, there are some I know there's some like wireless options out there, but I honestly don't know how reliable those are. Come on. Don't give me this kind of trouble. Maybe I need to position it like this. Okay, that's shining a lot brighter. I must have... I must have... Look at that. Okay, okay, okay. I messed up the positioning on this one then. Oh, yeah, I had it upside down. Duh. That's not going to be very helpful. 
Okay, so let's put it like that. We want it in the middle. Hello? Where are you going? Come on. Beg the trucks, come on. Stick. Stick! Round pieces are such a pain to work with. Okay, I got it in line. Um, so could I just clamp this down? Just like on top of the wire. I can. And our engines are lit. So let me turn off the lights again. Ooh! Look at that! Obviously from the, uh, for, from the top you can't see much. But... Look at that, it worked. And that was actually pretty darn easy. You can still angle the engines like so. How cool is that? Very nice. Now, another thing I wanted to try. And remember, I'm only uh, working with two of the lights hooked up at the moment. I still have four more, I think. Um, but let me, I wanted to go ahead and see if I could kind of put one in or like behind the missile launchers and then maybe set it to the pulse mode. I don't know because the missile launchers are those spring missile things. So you can kind of just hook it there, but I don't think it's not going to fit in the hole where the missile goes, unfortunately. Um, Okay, I'm not, if I think about it for a little while, I might be able to figure out a way to make the guns light up. But now that I tried the engines here, I actually want to go grab my Pelican, and I've got a couple ideas with the Pelican. Here we go, the monster itself. Now, my first thought here was making these lights glow. Is that possible? Oh, it is. It is possible. And it's so easy, too. Um, now, I'm not trying real hard here to hide the wires. Look at that. Okay, hold on. Let me turn off the lights again. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Spotlights on the wings, all ready to go. Like I said, I'm not trying real hard here to hide the wires, but if you wanted to, you could obviously like string it underneath the wing like that, and you wouldn't see them very much. We could do that. Oh wait, let me try. Um, that's the fire mode. Look at that! Like warning lights, like it's about to take off, or like that. Crashing pelican. There we go. Just straight on. Oh, and look. Look here, there is a little green light on the controller board showing you when it's active. Okay, so let me take this and now what if I were to move it to the stud on the wing tip? Try this out. Is there enough space inside this stud for it to fit? That's the question. So you gotta, you gotta work with the spaces that's in the bricks. Hmm, I don't know if there's enough space that would be really cool, but there's not enough space inside this stud to fit this um, at the moment. Again, a lot of these things, if I think about it for a little bit, I'm sure I can get it to work. But I just wanted to show some things on the fly. Whoops, I just dropped the light. Yeah, these ones, these light pieces are perfect, actually, because Mega put extra space inside them. So basically, if you have any of these on a set, you can automatically uh, attach the lights. Oh gosh, there's so much dust. I don't even, it's so dumb. Dust collects so fast. Literally, I leave it for like two days and this much dust collects. Okay, so now I have an idea. What if I were to 
bring the lights in the top of the pelican like this and uh hello what's it catching on oh the the thing for chief that that hanging rack for chief so come here if i were to do this and then if i steal the lights from the wings for just a second and then hook those on well if i drop it then nothing happens Ah, okay, bro hammer. Oh, he's all hooked in there. Come on. I just want the stud. Okay, there we go. Grab the light again. Obviously, hooking these things up as you're building a set would be the easiest option. But, you know, you do what you got to do. Okay, like that, and then let me get my other one in here. Come on, get in here. I think I've got some extras of these pieces somewhere too, so if I wanna do this uh, more permanently, the lights on the Pelican can still be a thing. Like this, and then if I close it up, uh, I can seal up the Pelican again. And look at that, the cockpit is all lit. Oh, that looks so cool. It makes it glow yellow too, like some of the original uh, Mega Construct Pelicans had like the yellow on the windshield. Um, I'm sure I could get some like work down in the front too. The possibilities for these things is absolutely endless. Just a little thought, and you could light this entire Pelican up. The engines, Oh my gosh, there's so much that you can do. I'm definitely going to have to just sit down one afternoon and just mess with these lights and see exactly what I can light up. I also wanted to bring in uh, some Lego to take a look at that. Got dust collecting on here already. This is the uh, Dark Trooper Attack set. Uh, I'm hoping, hoping to do a review of this set at some point here. But this is actually my second copy. It's built backwards, so it will probably look a little weird. And I wouldn't... Uh, I want to do photos of the set. The whole reason I bought the set was for photos and I'm going to have to light it, you know, because we need some ambient lighting and just a dark hallway. You know, that's sometimes cool, but I'm going to need some light. So I was thinking I can use these to get some light into these halls. You know, you could do something as simple as holding it up here, whatever. Uh, right now, the main thing I could think of to like actually get light going here is putting them here on the side and that they fit right into the slots oh hold on they actually have to go in there first come on see like so I keep turning the lights back on then I need to turn them back off again yeah there we go that's all lit up. Very neat. And again, there's there's so many options with this. I'm just kind of doing what I can see right off the bat. But that's pretty cool. And for photos too, like I was saying, all I need to do really for photos is hold up the light or just position the light off on the side. And look, one of these lights is lighting up the hallway pretty darn good. So if you put a couple, like one off here, and pop the other one out. One off over here, say, and then one over here. You can make basically a complete uh, light, like a really wraparound light, especially if I get all six hooked up. That's going to be pretty much perfect. And these things are so small, I could like slip them into the scene and then just edit out the wire. So I'm really excited to try some photos with this as well. But yeah, they're they're really as bright as I was hoping they would be. That is that is amazing. That is so cool. Well, there you have it. That is the Brick Stuff LED Lighting Effect Starter Kit. There are so many things you can do with this, which actually I just remembered. I just read the instructions 
and I forgot to use the dimmer switch. So this green light here, that shows that the battery pack is active, does not show you when the lights are active. So if the green light's on, that means there's power to the board. And then, so let's see. Um, wait, let's see. Supposedly I can just turn this. Oh my word. Look at that. The possibilities. Okay. Yeah, I totally did not even think to try that at first. Yeah, so there's a lot you can do with this. And when I first got this kit, and honestly, the reason I haven't gotten any lighting kits before this is because I was worried it was going to be too complicated and it was going to be a bit of a learning curve to figure it out. It's really not. You just have to pay close attention to your different connector ends and make sure you're not trying to plug one into the wrong port or something. And you do have to be careful with these a bit. I was reading the instructions and it says that this board here in particular is a bit on the fragile side. So you don't want it exposed to static if you can help it. And obviously you don't want to get it wet. You don't really want to bring it outside. So they give you this bag here that's like anti-static thing. You're supposed to store it back in there. And then obviously you don't want to pull or push on the wires too hard. They are soldered on, but if you're not careful, you can accidentally yank them off. So you definitely have to be careful. There is a little bit of learning involved, but it's really not that difficult. I was expecting it to be way more difficult than this, and it's really not. And you can get really, really great results pretty much right away. I mean, you saw with the Wasp and the Pelican, that looked absolutely fantastic. And those two sets are great as it is, like especially, you know, you want to display it on a shelf. That's great. But displaying it on a shelf with the lights makes it pop so much more, especially if you have like the, the pulsing going. So like imagine put in the Wasp engines, mount it up on a stand and then have it be like the pulsing or flashing to make it look like it's actually flying. There's so much you can do with this. Like I said, I wanted these particularly to get small lights into photos and be able to, you know, have lights going in the photos because I have a I've ha been having a lot of trouble with doing indoor photography usually I'll do it outside just in the dirt get the natural sunlight but there are some things you just have to do inside and I've been having huge trouble with getting the lighting correct and I'm thinking that these might just solve my problem now the one major downside I see to this particular uh kit the the starter kit is the lights are very warm they're just warm so you have all the options you need to do warm lighting but the lights by themselves are very yellow so for example like in this hallway i probably wouldn't want more white or blue light now i might be able to stick these behind some studs or in some lego like cylinder pieces and have that kind of change the light color for me which i'm definitely going to try but this kit is definitely a warm light kit that that's what you're getting so if you're thinking you're gonna get like blue lights here then that um that is not the case unless of course there i don't think there's a way to change the warmth of the light i'm looking at the instructions now um auto selector switch Okay, I don't think so. I think that these are just the warmer colors, which again, that's great for all of the like warm stuff, but sometimes you need blue lights. So that's the, that's the thing you just have to keep in mind here. These ones in particular are very much um, warm lights. But other than that, this is pretty good. So this kit, I think this kit was like $60, which I know at first you're gonna look at the size of the box and you're gonna look at the amount of stuff that's in there and go, wow, that's expensive. But think about it, you're getting a bunch of electronics here. So this is not just like buying some more Mega Constructs parts. It's not like buying you know, a random pack of parts to upgrade your Pelican or whatever. This is actual electronics here. They actually had to wire up all of this, make it so you could program it, all of that stuff. So 
I think that's a pretty good price, in my opinion. I think that's a pretty good price. And the amount of things you can do with it. I mean, you get six lights here. You saw what I could do with just two lights at one time. So six lights, that's pretty impressive. Um, in case you're wondering how that would work, because you can see I've got the one wire hooked up. What you would do is you would hook this connector here instead and then attach two more of the black and then more of these ones. So basically you would branch it out like a tree. So I highly recommend you guys go check this out. I'll put the link in the description. It's brickstuff.com. Um, go check it out. There's so much there. I just bought the beginner like starter kit here. That's, that's what this is. But they have, like I said, screens, little tiny screens that you can build into your stuff that will actually play things. So if you wanted to, you could get a screen and have the Halo Infinite trailer playing in your Pelican. Like, how cool is that? I definitely want to try some of those at some point, but these are going to give me quite a bit to fiddle around with. Like I said, for photos, I'm really looking forward to testing this out. Uh, like street lights, there's been some photos I did where street lights on my modular buildings, I wanted to make them glow, but I didn't necessarily want to edit in the glow effect because I wanted like the actual spread of the light. And I had to use these like LEDs from dollar tree or something and they the wires were really big and thick and the light themselves was hard to position this can just go right inside and then i can just kind of string this off and then edit that out and it's going to work out really perfectly so i'm really excited about this i think this is really awesome and i am looking forward to seeing what they can do with specific kits for um for mega construct sets oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay so they specify on the back here six round warm white specifically warm white okay so that's what this has in there i'm gonna have to go look back at their website and see if they also have some cold lights because that is going to be uh pretty useful as well but yeah highly recommend this go check out the domains channel watch his videos because he's got a whole bunch of content about this stuff and i will put the link to brick stuff's website in the description go and check it out this is a huge opportunity to make your displays go up to the next level. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.